Hey, D.O.T. community, this is Zalan coming at you with a first look at the new Conquest event. And as you can see, this is on my test account, of course. And I did change my name to the King of Zade, and you'll see why, because there are a few, few others that also have the ability to test this out. And right now, and I want to show this off, right now the Wukong event is, is live for everyone else. But for these next few days, I'm going to have the opportunity to test out the brand new Conquest. Now, this of course is a test event, so of course they have Oracore here, and of, of course it says the event rewards Dracor, so don't take any... This is all subject to change, don't think that that's going to be the, uh, the, uh, the, the reward for the event. This is all just for testing sake, but let's go through exactly what conquest is all about and we'll take a look at the rewards and everything else uh and how everything is all set up for this so in this event a corrupted land will appear on the map and players will be tasked with attacking the land to reduce its health here it is if you remember tr trials of power this is where the trials of power uh, land came up so once the health has been depleted, the land will be destroyed. So I'm already on level two, as you see here. I was so excited I had to test it. <laughs> I had to test it out. But uh, you, do you blame me? Um, but uh, now that I'm on level two, as as it uh, continues to get bigger, as you see, the circle right here is quite large around this current island. So I'm assuming that as it gets closer to the uh, final level ten, it'll be a lot larger. So. We will see, because I will I will put out a couple more other videos of 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 this te this current test. So, as you attack, you will be faced with waves of enemies, including corrupted troops, which are larger and more powerful versions of current troops. Now we've seen that already on a, a live stream that was put out today, because um, I am pre-recording these videos and I will put them out <clears throat> when we are allowed to reveal this uh, the this uh, information. So, and then I will state again, this is all subject to change. Things that you see here may be a little bit different so when it's finally released. Um, but once you destroy a corrupted land, a new land will reveal itself at a harder difficulty, setting for greater rewards. As part of this event, we're introducing a new event currency warp stones, and you can see them right here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, they have, I right now currently have 25. I think it was 40 is what I had to begin with, but I may be incorrect. It might be 50, because that seems to be right in the middle right now. So, I might be incorrect, like I said. Um, but you do get... Uh, warp Stones are used when attacking a Corrupted Land. It can be earned by attacking other players' lands during regular PvP. I've tested that out already. I have not seen it, but that may change. But they also regenerate over time and can also be be earned from milestone rewards in the regular of event. So you'll see in the milestones, the warp stones are given out uh, throughout the tiers. Uh, the, there are multiple rewards to be earned per level, and there are 10 levels in total. Once all levels are complete, players can continue to play for as long as they want, attacking bonus levels. Now that's what I want to get to. I want to get to these bonus levels. And will earn new Echoes of War, which can be redeemed at the Temple for powerful rewards. Let's take a look at what we're talking about there. These powerful rewards. You go to the Divine Gem Altar for these. And there they are, these Echoes of War that you have to obtain. Now, if you get one of them, you can get a guaranteed 4-star relic. Now, I'm not totally certain what's inside of there yet. And hopefully I can get a hold of some more of these uh, Echoes that I can do uh, a, a mass pull and find out what's more inside of these uh, uh, regular relics. And also the guaranteed 4-star, you have to have 4 of them. So uh, I'm going to see how hard, difficult it is to get the Echoes at the end. And uh, what I can do, because of course being that I'm on the test account, most of my Titans are pretty sweet. So I would assume I, I should be able to get to that level. Because these initial uh, levels don't seem to be too difficult whatsoever. Now also... When you go in, it is not timer-based, and we're going to go in and do a battle right here, and I will show, what, and we're going to go to level 3. Um, but the thing is, with the, uh, the, there is a timer, of course, so if you're not able to do it within the time, yes, it will time out. But so far, the battles that I've done, I've been able to complete them uh, within the time allotted. So, uh, it, the amount of damage that you do, similar to Trials of Power, is taken away from this initial health bar. 
Level 1 was, I think, 1,500, and now it's now 3,000. I wonder if it will continue to go up in multiples of 2, so the next one will be 6,000. I'm not sure. So, we will find out. But here, let's do this one battle. I got Ari in here. The other thing that is crazy is the troops are all level 25. And they give you unlimited troops. Again, this is something that may be subject to change. So... But they do also give unlimited spells as well, and all level 25. Your reinforcements, of course, are still based on your, who can give you the best reinforcements. I would assume at some of those higher levels, it will be pretty difficult to get through, so getting good reinforcements from your other Alliance members will be key. Also, having uh, uh, relics that give uh, spells will also be key in later levels. So, uh, just think about that as well, because you're going to want to do as much damage as you possibly can. Especially if you're a lower level player and can't get through some of these initial levels, you're going to want to do as much damage as possible, so bringing as many spells as possible will be helpful. Besides from having as high a level troops as possible. Yeah, this map, of course, is talking about the Corrupted Spearmen and Archers. So, we'll take a look at them. Should be alright, though. Maps are bigger. Corrupted land maps. Very similar to Throne Wars maps. But a little different, because you can see there's these little... Uh, there's a hut right there. I don't know if we... Yeah, we have one over here, too. There's, like, spawn points on, on the map itself. That sometimes they drop in the very back, at this back pillar. And sometimes they drop from the sides. But like I said, there is a certain amount of waves. And after you finish them off, you're all set. Now these were all starting, I think, around level 18 enemies. So this is going to be fairly difficult for newer players to be able to get through some of these early levels. Now, there is relics available, and we'll take a look at that after this battle, uh, that you can get from the temple that do allow you to get more damage if you equip them onto your titan. What I mean by more damage, uh, you'll score higher points, I should say. And being able to score higher points allows you to clear the uh, level and obtain the rewards. Ori's got to do a lot of running. Look at her go. I could have brought more troops, but... I ran another battle just to try the PvP to see if we were gaining any actual... Uh, um, uh, warp stones off of PvP battles, like it said in the description that I was given for this event, and I did not see any. So unfortunately, I haven't yet to see that. The sweet Aria gameplay. All right. We're gonna check out the relics after this. I'm hoping the Titan XP that you also get from these battles also is uh, higher. Oh, there we go. Going from level 2 to level 3. It's looking a little bit bigger. A little bit... I think the uh, towers are a little bit higher. So, yeah, I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. That's what... It's going to get a lot nicer and a little bit bigger. But here, let's take a look. Uh, we got unlock some milestones. We're going to look at those rewards. And, of course, here, let's take a look at the event relics, like I said. So, like, this being the very overviewish video of everything, there's a warp core. It's a four out of four. So they only have four uses out of them. Let's take a quick look at it. Metarx's Codex. It's funny. 
Okay, so these warp cores boost the damage against corrupted lands. There you go. And then the uh, troop damage and troop health. So that's uh, that's how they help be able to do that boost. Um, well, it helps your troops be able to survive longer and also do more damage as well as it does give an additional boost to the overall damage that you do. Uh, which hopefully is clearing the full level if you can. So, before time runs out. Alright, now, besides from that, let's take a look at the milestones. Or the, the progress, as they're calling it. Now, there's typically three or four rewards in each one of these tiers. Now, of course, I've collected these already, but that was just, as you see, just a relic coin, uh, some portal stones, and one of these, uh, what are they, what are they calling them this time around? Hold on. What? Warp tokens. Okay, yeah. And you got one of them in the beginning. Now, they are just able to give you those relics. That's all that they're doing. But, uh, of course, you have to get to the end, tier 10, I would believe, and complete it to start getting the uh, Echoes of War. But here, as we see, level 2... Given some warp stones, some more portal stones. Portal stones aren't really needed for this event, being the fact that you need warp stones to be able to do the event. So maybe that'll change. Maybe they won't give as many portal stones in the event officially. But we'll see, because maybe if they do change it so that you can get more warp stones from actual PvP battles, if that is functionality is supposed to happen, maybe that is the reason why they're there. Level 3... Gems, Norse Talisman, level 4. So as you get to each one of these levels, you just get all three rewards. Or four, like I said, because I saw some later on that have, as you see here, level 5. It's got four rewards. So. Level 6, and we got some DGs in here, which is nice. Minus touch, so they're already telling you that you need to use relics that have that have spells on them. <laughs> uh, more gems, storm rune. Level eight's got a Solgar, so you got to you have to assume that to get a four star Titan, that level eight's starting to get pretty difficult. And there's an epic token in there as well. You're getting all of that at one time. Level nine. Four star shield of the gods. See, and this is where they got a little. Oh, level nine is five rewards. Look at that. Three, four, five. Banner of the storm as well. But this is where they got a little sloppy. That shield of the gods is like repeated again <laughs> twice more. So again, this is why this is. They're just placeholders. They just did that to just. They're made, making placeholders. But this is one is also five rewards here at the top with a Dracor level 10. I know some people for collecting purposes wouldn't mind a Dracor. But for the most part, most know that, yeah, he's not super crazy anticipated. But maybe Urkor, or not Urkor, Urkon. Maybe this will be the event where they put him in there for something like this. Be pretty neat. But then, of course, here in the ranking rewards, they have the same thing. Where they uh, they have a, uh, so they're still rank rewards. I'm, I'm number two. Oh, King of SPP. Oh, that's Bo. I got King of Zade. Maybe I'll have to change it now. <laughs> it's just Bo, me, Jaeger, and Zade in here right now. Maybe we'll see some soldier action show up soon. Maybe go Dan when he gets done work. All right, DOT community. That's the pretty much the, the skinny on everything. Uh, and also here you can see your warp stones uh, recharging. Oh, what's the recharge cost? Okay. Wow. Nexus stones, huh? For 2,450. That's uh, quite a lot of gems. All right. So you have the option to, re to, to recharge them. Maybe that'll also change, but maybe it won't. But yes, yeah, so you have the option to recharge them as well. But, uh, but yeah. So there's that. All right, DOT community, I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, uh, conquest first look. And I will be back again with some more videos of me going through more of this uh, test and trying to see what some of these later rewards and levels are like. All right. 
talk to you all again very soon.